I, started to, I think I started to get a bit frustrated with this kind of central, central image that I was getting a lot. And so I, I started thinking about how I could, um, instead of formally composing an image, if I could set up a procedure of drawing that would create, that would create its own composition. So what I mean is I would have certain rules where I would cross to here, cross to there, I would always be going to the other side and trying to form images within by just a, a set of a logical procedure. And then I moved from that because something else interesting started to happen, uh, which probably informs all the work left really, was this kind of thing where because of these lines that have formed stars here um, behind, which seemed to me like you've got this thick line above and then this star in the background, and I was kind of seeing these black lines as, and then I started to think about that cliche Oscar Wilde thing about like staring in the gutter to look at the stars, and that kind of played on my mind a lot, and I was thinking about that a lot, and would be able to be be here with these gutters but look through to these kind of star, star forms and so then I started focusing on these star forms to make compositions so these are all made based on star forms and um, the same with this one originally was made as a star and then um, looking through through that. But then I, again, I, I maybe kind of fell into this idea of having a, a formal foreground and background by putting these forms here. But I think what this gave me was it started again that interesting perspective about being able to look up to something. And that was an interest that's kind of followed on. And also an interest is, is this idea of cutting something quite solid having a form that's quite solid, but being able to cut it. These are kind of um, the first time that I thought about this idea of a canopy. Again, because thinking about uh, a physical canopy and also things like canopies of stars and again, playing these, thinking about words and being able to get something quite physical, like something quite object-like, but being able to see through it. Pretty much the same as this really, but be able to again get something quite physical, but be able to see through into what I saw as a sky, and then be able to contain something quite physical, which is what I'm interested in really is that this idea of the ephemeral, this idea that that's why it was useful, this gutters and stars thing, it was just something to love on, be able to sort of hold on to because that kind of ephemeral idea of the stars and looking away from the everyday, I'm interested in, but often when you see painting like that, it tends to be kind of sort of Turner-esque, abstract, kind of quite floaty, and that's okay, and I wanted a bit of that, but I wanted it to somehow hold it in the everyday as well. To me, that's kind of like the perfect combination if you can, if you can hold that ephemerality in some quite structure. I think the thing was, I was getting involved in formal things, but I think that has to have more, if you're going to do that, it has to go one way or the other, it has to have a kind of mathematical rigour, or it, or it has to be something else. And I felt I was falling in between two stalls with some of it. And also I felt, we'll get on to maybe in a minute, but I felt like I was playing formal games, which could have gone on forever, and I, I didn't really feel like that was getting me anywhere. With, with both of them, really, I saw, even though the wood is sitting on the top, I was, I was almost seeing those kind of, I was playing architectural game, you know, thinking about architecture as them being structures, but again thinking about them being structures you could see through, so seeing, seeing them as, yes, as forms, but also as windows, so as buildings, but also as windows, and um, like portals to something, and dealing with, um, yeah, I mean, maybe trying to make something very physical, that also has has a far away look as well. So although it's thrown towards you, you're also looking through it. 